So this weekend, uh, I had my cousin's wedding, and I was at home with my little brother, and we were uh, getting ready for the wedding, and I was tying my tie, and he came in, and he asked me if I could help tie his. So I did, and on Saturday, I still didn't know what I was gonna do for the speech. I was like, you're a genius, this is perfect. I'll do how to tie a tie. And then the more I got thinking, what is the purpose of a tie? A tie doesn't keep you warm, it doesn't keep you dry, it doesn't keep the sun out of your eyes. All these accessories that we wear help us, but a tie really doesn't do it. So I was trying to think of the history of the tie. So then I researched that, I found out that the tie was first invented, invented in the 17th century in the 30 year war, war in France. King Louis the third, the eighth hired uh, Croatian mercenaries to help battle, and they all wore a piece of cloth pictured here around the neck. But back then, that piece of cloth helped hold up their uniform. Today, ties don't help hold up our shirts. King Louis VIII liked these so much that he ended up making them um, uh, mandatory accessories to all royal gatherings. He ended up giving them the name La Prevette, which in French means the tie. So ties nowadays come in all different sizes and shapes. There's the standard tie, which I have here, which is 3.25 inches to 3.5, the narrow 2.75 to 3 inches, and a skinny tie, which is 1.5 to 2.5. The way you measure that is from these two angles right here, straight across. They can also come in all different types of fabrics, like wool, silk, and cotton. Some people knit their own um, ties. Now ties didn't come uh, business type accessories until the 1950s. And that's when they really took off. And now, besides having different types of styles and fabrics, you can tie them into all different types of knots. There's basic knots, like on top, the, or like the Windsor, the Half Windsor, or the Four in Hand, or more difficult, intricate knots, like the Atlantic, the Cape, and the Capsule. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to tie the Half Windsor, which I feel is the most basic, and it's the first one I ever learned. It only takes six easy steps. So the way you do it is you take your tie, and you wrap it around your neck. It doesn't matter which side they're on, that, all that will uh, determine is the angle of the knot. So I put the thicker side on my left, uh, over my left shoulder. Take the skinnier side and do it about halfway down your body. And you take the thicker side and you wrap it over the top and you pinch. You then take it and you go around the back and come back over the top. Then you just come through this big hole. And with that, you make a hole in the front and you just go straight through that, and that is how you tie the half windsor knot. And then, if you follow those six easy steps, you will be as happy as this guy. Thank you.